everyone welcome to my youtube channel tech code buddy i hope you are doing extremely well well guys in this video we are going to solve some previous year asked questions from common applications and ms office and network security but before proceeding further i request you if you haven't subscribed this channel then hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you will never miss any update from my side well guys i want to tell you that this is an on demand video i have polled on telegram group and there you vote for the ms office and applications the most so this is why i am making this video so show some support to this video share the content with your friends and with those students whose exchange exam is in the upcoming days so let's begin with the video now so this is the very first question first of all let me take the pen and uh, so this is the very first question as you can see here that this is from common applications and ms office it is a subject in exchange exam so this is a actual question so in the given example of a url with different components which of the following is a sub directory okay this is little bit blur but uh, i have zoomed it and uh, this is sub directory so this is the given url and you have to find out the sub directory so what are the parts of a url so the first one is protocol so https is protocol what it is https is http and https both are protocols now coming on to this so this is the this part is domain okay the complete part is domain but only the block dot block dot is then hubspot is Hub hubspot is second level domain second level domain and now dot com is dot com is top level domain top level domain and what it is it is marketing and it is a sub directory so it is sub directory here for this question you should have the knowledge of url structure that a url is consist of what elements okay so you must have the knowledge of a url structure so this one is marketing and this is the sub directory here so the correct answer will be and there are countings 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 is for marketing so this is why d is the correct answer okay moving on to the next question which of the following is not an operating system macintosh means mac operating system okay for apple users unix microsoft edge and android Macintosh is a operating system. Unix is again a operating system. Microsoft Edge is a browser by Microsoft, so it's a browser. So it's not an operating system. Okay. Android is an operating system. We have mobile phones. This is Android, so this is built on an operating system. Okay. So Android is operating system. Next question is from MS Office, and uh, this question is from Formula One. I don't know from where I got this picture. but this this picture is blur and uh, i was unable to see the proper question this is why i am unable to solve it here but i am putting this picture here because to show you the this type of questions also come in the exam so this question is from formula war so if you don't know about formula war or if you don't have the knowledge of formula war in ms excel so i would suggest you to go on youtube or go on google and have some basic knowledge of formula war okay that how does it work and And what operations can be performed in that? Okay, and what type of questions can be asked in the Exchange exam? So make sure to do that. Okay, moving on to the next question. Next question is in PowerPoint, an action button can perform the assigned action. Number one, when the action button is clicked. Number two, when the action button is simply pointed. So the answer is when the action button is clicked. in any ad in any application not in only uh, powerpoint when we click on a action button then only it will work then only it will do this task okay like uh, like suppose i click here insert then only it will do this task okay if i uh, only point out draw so this will nothing do so this will do nothing when i point out this okay but when i click it then it will do some task okay so only one will be the answer moving on to the next question next question is which of the following function 
key is used to rename a selected file. So the option is F2. F2 key is used to rename a selected file. Okay, I hope it makes sense and it is clear to you. So moving on to the next question. Next question is again from formula var and it is again blur. So I am unable to solve it here. But I put this here because to show you. Okay, so moving on to the next question. Next question is find the odd man out. This question is not from reasoning. Okay, this is again from MS Office and applications and like this. Okay, so find the odd man out. Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Safari and Android. So Google Chrome is a browser. Mozilla Firefox again a browser. Safari is also a browser. Okay, Android is an operating system. So here this is an odd man out. Okay, so moving on to the next question. To attach a file folder with email, what would you choose? Microsoft Store doesn't make any sense here uh, in the case of email. Okay, guys, did you ever use a Canva application? Uh, like whenever we have to download more than one file, then it will support zip system. So it will put all the files in a zip file and then I can download it. Okay, so the same case is here. If we have to send a file folder with email attached, so we will use zip folder. Okay, so in the GIF format, we can send multiple files or we can say folders. Okay, so the GIF will be correct answer. Adobe Reader doesn't make any sense here as it is for PDFs. Next question is to insert the character shown below, what will be the correct shortcut key combination? Okay, so to insert this character, this is copyright sign. So we have to insert it in the word or in uh, somewhere else. So what will be the combination of shortcut keys? So to insert this character, we will, uh, we will press Alt plus Control plus C. You can do it now on your laptop. Go and click it. Okay. So this will be the correct answer. Control plus C is for uh, copy. Next question is in Excel, what does the notation represent? B8 and B10. So product of both the cells, no. Cell B only, no. Only, say, only cell B8 and cell B10, no. All cells from B8 to B10. So what does it mean? B8 to B10. So all the cells like B8, B9 and B10. So all the cells from B8 to B10, this will represent this. Okay, I hope it makes sense and it is clear to you. So moving on to the next question. Also guys, uh, I would recommend you to learn the all shortcut keys. Okay, shortcut keys uh, uh, you can find out from uh, Google the list of uh, shortcut keys. Mostly use shortcut keys and the main important uh, or the most important shortcut keys. So go, the, go on Google and download the sheet. Okay, so make sure to be prepared with that because there are many questions asked only from the shortcut keys. Now see. What can we do to stop automatic count of numbers in a sequential test or bullet point? Uh, it means like whenever we are writing some text and then we have to use a list or a, a sequential thing. Like suppose I'm writing there are five steps. There are five steps. So number one, this. Then when I press enter, it will automatically generate the next number two. Then I have write this. Then again, when I press enter, then it will again generate the number, the next number, right? So this is the bullet point. It can be a bullet point or it can be a number or something else. Okay, so whatever you have used in the initial, so the next will be like that. If I use number here, so the next will be number. If I use bullet point here, so the next will be also bullet point right so to stop this what will we have to do so it cannot be stopped no no it can stop press enter key twice so to enter bullet point or something else we press enter key once but to stop it we have to press the enter key twice okay so the correct answer will be this okay alt key nothing no any no we can stop it how we either we can uh, press the enter key two times or we can press that number bullet which key is the best suitable to select the word or phrase to be selected in ms word so to select a word or phrase in ms word we will use shift 
okay so the correct answer will be shift now to go one step back from any directory we need to type so to one step go back okay suppose like i am in c drive then in lenovo folder then in users then in something else so to go only one step back i will use cd dot dot so this will be the correct answer for that and if i have to go two step back so what will i choose so this will be the correct answer for that for two steps and this is for one step okay so i hope it is clear to you and it makes sense so moving on to the next question next is ms office can be related to open source software no as open source software is free to use okay it is free to use but to use ms office we have to pay okay now cloud source software so uh, this is not a cloud software or cloud source software now market software yes it is a market software and in market software there are two types vertical market software and horizontal market software right now uh vertical means like a software that can be used only to only for a specific task only to perform a specific task means vertical application of vertical software means like it can be used to perform only a single task or only a specific task now horizontal software means it can be used to perform several things so we can use ms office applications like ms word m as spreadsheets powerpoint and something else for the many tasks and we can use it anywhere we can use even we can use it even in collaboration like i am working here and my friend is working on the another lo location and we are working on a same spreadsheet or we are working on a same excel sheet right so this is a horizontal market and guys all the questions were asked in exchanger exam now i am not an objective of network security who i am okay so authentication is an objective of network security yes it is identification again access control is again related to network security and it's an objective of network security lock lock doesn't mean to object, uh, network security so the correct answer will be lock right so moving on to the next question what is the shortcut key to close the currently active tab so you should know this to close the currently active tab we will press control plus w okay so the correct answer will be control plus w so moving on to the next question this is why i said you that if you don't have the idea of shortcut keys so make sure to go on google and download a shortcut keys sheet so you will get the idea from there okay so make sure to learn these all shortcut keys uh fill up computing graphs to applications and services that run on a distributed network using visualized resources okay the so distributed computing of course in the distributed com computing there are a distributed there is a distributed network that there, uh, there is one computer there is another there is another there is another and it is a distributed computing but we cannot see them the resources are are not visualized in the cloud computing the resources are visualized and the resources are in the distributed form okay the network is in the distributed form and also the resources are in the visualized form so the cloud computing will be the correct answer for this so moving on to the next question what extension is used for saving a word document file so to save a word document document file we will use dot doc extension right txt for notepad file or simple text file ppt for powerpoint pptx again for powerpoint related stuff so this will be the doc answer okay so moving on to the next question next question is command for close all the tabs that are either active or inactive in a browser suppose in a browser we are using multiple tabs and we are active on only one tab and remaining tabs are inactive okay or we are not using them so to close all the commands either it is active or it is inactive so what we will press so we will press control plus shift plus w control plus w is for only closing active tab and to close active and inactive both the tabs we will use control plus shift plus w 
right i hope it makes sense and you have guessed it properly so moving on to the next question guys if you like this video then show some support share this video and uh, share this and also follow me on instagram and join our telegram community so the question is what is gutter margin so if you done with the web development or something like development so you must be familiar with margin what is margin so suppose there is a box and there is another box or something like there is a text or there is another text so if i add margin so the space between them so the space between them will be increased okay so margin is something related to space something a side space or upper or lower space margin is margin is something related to space okay now let's come here margin that is added to the left margin when printing so if we have to add left margin so we will use simply left margin okay not only margin here we have to use gutter margin so gutter margin will be margin that is added to the winding side of a page when printing okay so this is winding side of a page when printing next is what is the default font and size in ms office what it be some of you are might be guessing arial or times new roman but the answer is calibri and the default size is 11 i hope it is clear to you computer virus is a computer virus is a software next question is which of the following is called as page to create a presentation in powerpoint so in powerpoint if we have to add a new page or uh, or to create a page we will use slides so in powerpoint we use slides moving on to the next next is which of the following is the shortcut key to open the existing presentation in the powerpoint so to open the existing presentation or to open existing anything we will use control plus o shortcut right i hope it makes sense and it is clear to you moving on to the next question is it possible to apply the same transition on all sides in a powerpoint presentation so it it is possible by following some basic steps okay so which of the following mean uh, so which of the following menu in powerpoint includes the picture text box shapes clip and art and all these can be included by pressing the insert tab okay so all these can be used by pressing the insert tab moving on to the next question and this is the last question if you have to remove a file or picture from desktop and then relocate this to in another directory what steps you will follow so suppose there is a file or there is a folder here in your desktop and you have to uh, save this file or save this file in another directory you don't want to put in desktop so what you will do copy and paste if you use copy and paste so the file will not be removed from the desktop okay it can be pasted from another in another file or in another folder or in another directory but it will not be removed from the desktop location right now cut by only cutting where you will paste and where you will save the files so these both are incorrect now cut and paste so from desktop we can cut and from another in another file or folder we can paste so this is the correct answer and drag and drop to yes we can drag and drop another location so this both can be the answer okay so the both can be the answer so this is the correct answer so guys this is all for today from my side if you like this video if you like the content if you like the question or if you have some doubts then for sure you can ask me in the comment section or in the telegram community and if you want more such content if you want uh, but more video on ms office and application then let me know in the comment section or let me know in the telegram community okay so we will meet in the next video until then bye bye take care